Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'll be making a card. All the stamp sets that I'm using today are by Precious Remembrance Shop and uh, I also have a giveaway on my blog for a chance to win one of these stamp sets. Make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. First of all, I am going to stamp this cup and uh, I am using my black Versafine ink on uh, just a plain uh, cardstock, white cardstock. The stamp set that I'm using is called Coffee Love stamp set and uh, all the clear stamps are made in USA and they are of exceptional quality. So uh, after I have stamped my cup, I am going to stamp uh, the heart and I am using uh, Simon Says Stamp Lipstick Red. So once I have those images on my cardstock, I am now going to use my scissors and cut them out. I really like to pop up the images on my cards and add a bit of dimension. I am going to stamp the coffee cup again on uh, craft cardstock and uh, this time I only need one, only one part of the coffee cup because I am going to paper piece later on. So I will be using my scissors to cut out only that uh, shape in the middle. And once I have that I can uh, go ahead and do some uh, inking. I will be using my distress inks and uh, my blending tools to add some shadows all around the cup. So first of all I am starting with anti cleaner and uh, you can use a finger dabber or any other blending tool at this point. I am going all around to add a few shadows and uh, then I will be using another dabber and add some uh, vintage photo for a darker shade over that uh, craft cardstock. And just because the white on uh, this uh, heart is uh, too bright, I decided to tone it down again with anti cleaning. And now I'm going to work on uh, the top of my coffee cup. So I'm uh, using a post-it note to mask off uh, the main part of the cup. And then I will be using my finger dabber with some peacock feathers and lightly apply some ink over the top. I am also going around the edges with my vintage photo and my finger dabber to add some shadowing and this will also uh, help me to get rid of all the white edges and uh, once that's there I can now go ahead and assemble my coffee cup. I am using my tape runner at the back and I am going to stick one on top of the other. Paper piecing is uh, one of my favorite techniques of all times so I go back to it again and again whenever I have the chance. Now I am going to use some uh, foam tapes at the back of uh, that uh, heart embellishment and I am going to stick it at the center of my cup. So my cup is ready. I am going to use some uh, clear Wink of Stella glitter pen to add a bit of shimmer on my embellishment and uh, then I can go ahead and start uh, working on the card base. This is a craft cardstock. It's the same cardstock that I've used for the piece that I used on my cup. So I am going to cut out a rectangle. This is actually cut out by a die from Simon Says Stamp and it has a nice stitching all around. And uh, now to bring everything together, I am going to ink up the edges of the panel using Vintage Photo, which is the exact same color I've used for my coffee cup. Notice that I'm not covering up the whole uh, panel, but I'm only concentrating on the edges. Also, just because this is a bigger area, I'm not using my finger dabber to ink up the edges, but I prefer using my uh, blending tool. So now that I'm happy with uh, the inking, I am going to go ahead and uh, use this uh, coffee stain stamp. This comes from uh, also from Precious Remembrance Shop, and this stamp set is called New Day Stamp Set. 
So I am going to ink up uh, this stamp using Distressing Vintage Photo and I'm going to stamp it randomly around my panel. You will notice that uh, as I stick everything on top, I am going to cover up most of uh, the stamping that I'm doing now. So at the end, I will go back and uh, fill in some gaps again with this uh, coffee stain uh, stamp. And this is where I got the idea to create a straw for my coffee cup. So in the coffee lava stamp set, there is a stamp that is actually meant to create uh, stripes. But I decided to stamp it with my VersaFine on uh, white cardstock and... Uh, just like I'm doing now, and uh, I am uh, going to cut it out in a very thin stripe, as if it's a straw. And just because I don't want my straw to be white, I am uh, using uh, spiced marmalade and I am applying some ink all over. So now I'm going to use my Fisker streamer, and I am going to cut out my straw. And again, to bring everything together, I am going around the edges with my Distress Ink Vintage Photo all around the edges of my straw, just to make sure that I get rid of the white there. And I can now go ahead and stamp the sentiment. This is the DIY stamp set, and I will go with uh, the word DO along with uh, something new every day. I plan to white impose the sentiment on uh, the bottom right corner and I will be using this wow powder, embossing powder which isn't white but it's uh, rather vanilla and uh, this will blend in nicely with uh, all the anti-cleaner that I have already on uh, the cup. So first of all I'm using my powder tool there just to make sure that uh, my powder is going to stick only where it's supposed to and now with my Versamark ink I am going to stamp the sentiment. When you are going to stamp on a cardstock that you have previously inked with uh, distressing, always make sure that your ink is uh, dry because uh, the powder is going to stick all over. And as I'm doing that, just to remind you that you can always find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using just below the video on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog. And don't forget that there is a giveaway, so for a chance to win one of these uh, stamp sets, make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. I have already created a top folding uh, standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and since uh, this is uh, out of uh, white cardstock I am going to use my anti cleaner and go around it with uh, my blending tool just to ink it up a little bit and uh, bring everything together with the panel that I'm going to stick in front. Notice that I only ink up the edges and I don't go at the center since this is going to be covered up at the end. Oh, and I hope you don't mind the background noise as my kids are playing while I'm doing this uh, voiceover. So anyway, I am using my tape runner at the back of the panel and I'm going to stick it at the center of my card base. And uh, then I'm going to secure the straw at the back of my coffee cup. I'm just using some uh, tape runner there. And I can now stick the coffee cup on my uh, card and just because I like a little dimension on my cards, I am going to use some uh, foam tape at the back. And what I love about this foam tape is that you can easily cut it out with your scissors as thin as you like, just like I did here for the straw. So I'm going to place just a thin uh, stripe of uh, foam tape behind the straw to keep it uh, nice and uh, sturdy. And I'm going to stick it on top of my card. Now the card is pretty much finished, but uh, I can't stop adding a little details, so I am uh, hanging up the edges with my blending tool that has a vintage photo. And uh, now I'm using some glossy accents over the straw as well as the, on uh, the heart embellishment. This does look milky at the moment, but it will dry shiny and uh, clear, so make sure to check out the photos at the end. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching!